Good morning, Oklahoma. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving and are enjoying the holiday weekend. Our topic this week, following up Monday's article, is analyzing your production system in a cow-calf operation. This is really the key to helping us identify breeding objectives and where we want to apply selection pressure. So how do we go about doing this? Well, basically, we break our production system down into its basic components. One of those is our cattle, the basic genotype of those cattle. And you can think about that relative to how you would describe your cattle, their level of performance, relative to all these other factors that we're gonna get into. Second component that we get into is just the production environment that you're in. This always gets interesting in cow-calf operations. There is an extreme variety of production environments that we deal with in North America as far as beef cow production. And if we think about the cow-calf sector in particular, cattle are still converting forage into pounds of calves weaned in much the same fashion that their feral ancestors did. The altitude that you operate at, the soil type you have, the quantity and quality of your forage base, particularly if it's native grass, are all things that we have very little control over, but they are the production environment that we have to have a cow herd that fits, and a cow herd that fits their production environment is gonna be a lot more efficient in the whole scheme of things. Next component, we wanna think about fixed resources and management. And what do we mean by fixed resources? Something as basic, how many acres of pasture do we actually have? Are we looking at a quarter section of native grass? Are we looking at two sections of an improved type of pasture, like a Bermuda grass? Uh, and we move from that and think about our management. Management is basically all those practices that we implement as the owners and managers of a cow-calf operation. Management is things like breeding and selection decisions, controlling the genotypes of our cattle relative to our marketing plan. Our marketing plan is a really important part of what we provide as managers. How long are we gonna keep our cows in production? Do we routinely cull cows at 10 years of age? When do we market the calf crop? Are we marketing wean calves? Are we doing that with documentation of their genetic potential to perform for the next owners? Are we hanging on to those calves until they're yearlings? Are we retaining ownership all the way through finishing? A lot of management components that enter into this production system as well. Final component that we get into is just the economics. Economics can be thought of as the cost or expense of all the inputs that we have into our cattle. That can be feed, fuel, fertilizer, equipment. We also wanna think about the value of the outputs. Primary source of revenue in a commercial cow-calf operation is those calves. We're living in a time they've got great value. But there's other aspects to economics as well, particularly what is the current interest rate? What is our debt to equity situation? Do we own all of our land and all of our cattle free and clear? Do we still servicing debt on those? A lot of times that amount of equity we have influences a great deal what our marketing plan for calves is gonna be. The point to thinking about all these things is that they interact and they affect each other. In the end, by taking a look at all of them, we wanna make selection decisions, mating decisions, apply selection pressure, and identify breeding objectives that coincide with our marketing plan, make optimum use of the resources that are available to us, and take advantage of the economic situation that we're in. We'll talk more about the components of those genotypes we're trying to create next week. But as always, thanks for joining us this week on Cow-Calf Corner.